Let's add a little bit more interactivity to our Contact Us page by creating a Google Maps uh, within the actual region that we've defined. Now, if you look on our Contact Us page, you'll see that we have an actual image here which is denoting where we want our Google Maps. Now, this is not required. This is just for design purposes. So what we can do is just basically skip this element. Now, we do have a shape, and if we hide this, you can actually take a look at the shape. The shape is what we're actually going to use to designate where we want our Google Maps to be placed and the size of the actual element. And I'll show you how we do this in the output. So let's go ahead and let's export this first. Now that our export is complete, before we take a look at the HTML output, what we're going to need are a few scripts to actually handle Google Maps. So in this case, we've created a JavaScript file and a CSS file to support Google Maps. So let's take a look at each of them really quick. So if we look at our JavaScript file, you'll see that this is a basic script to process Google Maps. Now, there are literally thousands, if not millions, of support files online. If you just do a Google search for Google Maps, you'll find a lot of results. Uh, Google wants you to use their maps. So basically, the way that this works, you can edit this content and leave the rest alone. What this will do is it's looking for a PSD layer name, as denoted by the variable. So this is the actual layer name in your Photoshop file. So if we go back to our PSD, and we take a look at the actual contact page. Let's go on. Again, this section is being skipped, you can see, so we can just hide this layer. But our actual map that we're using, the layer name is Google Map. So if our layer name was my map, per se, then what we'd want to do is in our actual script file, we would want this actual property to be called my map, just in reference to the actual PSD layer name. So let's just change that back. Now, the next thing it's looking for are coordinates, so the latitude and the longitude. Uh, these coordinates will actually direct you to London, but you can just basically set whatever coordinates you need. And again, this is something that you can do online through various resources. So the next thing we're going to look at is the actual CSS. Now you can see again this is a very basic CSS. What this will do is reset the Google Map Div. Uh, this is basically because Export Kit has custom settings for when it's actually rendering content. But when you're rendering default HTML, uh, you might want different settings just to ensure that your elements, they appear on the screen as you expect. So what you can do is just basically add this CSS. And let's go ahead and let's take a look at the output now. So if we look at the output for the contact us page, you'll see that we basically just have our square. This is the div that we denoted in our PSD file. So there's just one more step that we need to do to make this active and an actual Google map. So the next step is basically to add the actual scripts to the map itself, or sorry, to the PSD itself, I'm sorry. So we can just copy the scripts relative to the actual path. Uh, this is similar to what we did with our PHP script. So that's step one. Step two, we go back to our PSD. And let's just close the folders for our export. Now what we do is we want to customize and we want to edit our custom head. Now here we can basically add links directly to each individual file. So what we want to do is basically add a reference to the individual file. So if we go back to our PSD within our custom head, what we can do is basically just cut and paste the actual content itself. So what this will do is add a link for the style sheet and our style sheet is called Google Maps CSS. Now the other script that we want to add as well is our actual script tag. So let's go ahead, let's just and our script is called Google Maps .js. Okay, so once we have this content within our custom head, what it will do is actually render these tags with our output. So this will allow us to basically connect our Google Maps because of our layer name. And let's take a look at the layer name again. So our layer name is called Google Map. And 
if we look at our script, this is in reference to our layer name Google Maps. So once we export this, Once our export is complete, now we can simply just refresh the page. Now you'll note that we still don't have our Google Maps, so this is a might be a common error that you might encounter. Before you go and you start changing any of your settings in your PSD file, what you need to ensure is that you have the correct file link. Uh, well, basically the file URL. In this case, if you look at our file name, our file name for our JS is actually Google Map.js while our CSS is Google Maps, pluralized. And if we go look at our PSD, you'll note that we added a plural Google Maps for the CSS and a plural Google Maps for the JS file. So to correct this, rather than actually changing any settings in your Photoshop file, what you can do is actually just simply rename the file. So we're looking for Google Maps. And if we go back to our output, now that we have the correct file link, you'll see that we actually have full Google Maps now embedded into our Photoshop to HTML output.